Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be testing out a processor I went on eBay and I found a really interesting processor these are for the well I'm gonna be testing them in the Lenovo X3650 model 3 because this is a Intel Xeon 5600 and 79 processor if you look this up at Intel's um, well they had like this CPU um, overview it does not show up they don't have it they don't brag about making it or anything so um, I was very curious because I had never seen a 5679 and when I saw the benchmarks for it I was very curious because the 5679 seems to be performing better than the 5690 which is otherwise the fastest processor in this lineup of CPUs. This processor should have a TDP of 115 watts, which means that it will not be able to run in the Lenovo X3650 Model 2, because that server has a maximum TDP of 95 watts, which means that the Intel Xeon 5675 is the fastest CPU that you can manage in that server, which we should try someday. It's only 20 watts, maybe. We need to try that someday. But right now I'm um, I'm preparing a Model 3 so that we can test this. And the Model 3 that I am preparing to install Server 2019 on it so that we can run a benchmark. And it has two Intel Xeon 5690s in it. So um, we're gonna benchmark those and then we're gonna try and replace them with the 5679 and see what we get. If we get an increase or a decrease, interesting. I hope, I hope. Otherwise I'm gonna lose you right away, right? So very much like the 5690, this is a six core processor, but this is a 3.2 gigahertz, which is a little bit less than the 5690. The 5690 is, uh, well, it's a 3.5 gigahertz processor which will turbo boost up to 3.7 gigahertz this x5679 well it will um, it will do 2. Point, it will do 3.2 gigahertz and it will turbo boost up to 3.6 gigahertz so it shouldn't be as fast as the x5690 um, maybe the reason why the benchmarks on the internet are better is because this CPU has been in more uh, like PC systems where people have overclocked them and stuff but we'll find that out if, um, if this is faster or if it's um, if it's slower okay so I have installed server 2019 but I don't want Windows update to interfere with my results so right now I'm running all the updates onto the server so that I won't have a problem with that and so that it's not gonna mess anything up. It takes quite a while. You can kind of see the, the time up here, um, 22.06. It's actually a bit late. That was when I started and it has been running for quite a bit. So I don't know what time it is actually. 22.23, so yeah. Okay, we have been updating for quite a while and it keeps going doing stuff. But it's almost at zero all the time now, so we can just check it's the right process, the X5690. Uh, and um, yeah, it says that it's a 3.47 gigahertz processor. Six core processor with hyper threading, each has 12 threads, and that's a total of 24. So a lot of good cores there. So let's run some tests. Okay, I ran the CPU mark here in uh, the Passmark 9.0 test and it came out with 13,555 and uh, I've made a note of that so we're gonna say that put it right there and um, yeah let's shut this down and try Cinebench and run that should do better than 1279 this is a faster CPU or too faster CPU cool we have 
1581 so I made a note of that we're gonna put that on the screen down here and now it's time for me to shut the system down and replace the CPUs so the server has been turned off and I have disconnected it so now we're gonna open up and see what we have inside there we are need to get to the processor so we can start by taking out the riser cards this is the magic or the unicorn of riser cards for the model 3 this is the x16 these are so rare if you want to go search for it i believe it's uh, 69 y 50 60 that um, you have to search for but they're very rare and if you find them they're very expensive too this one is the normal one, oh. you get two X8s and the model number is right there, so um, yeah. So we have the two X5690s here and they have some good copper heat sinks that I will be removing and I see that the cooling compound has, um, has touched everything, made a mess, awesome. These are heavy, there are some weight to these. Great. And the other one. And let's have the processors out of here. ones in here like that just take any excess of cooling compound off of there doesn't seem to be any good and close that down Clean the heat sinks and pop those back in. Cleanish. And the other one. Okay. Oh. That's expensive. Pop the riser back in. cover back on I'll just clean that a little bit so this not being an, an Intel processor that they brag about on their list of processors in the 5600 series uh, there is the danger that the micro code does not recognize this CPU and it won't show up at all so if anything comes on the screen it's a good thing and it's a good thing. Okay, so we're not all dead yet. Okay, this seems promising. Um, if anyone knows the story about the X5679, I would love to hear uh, why it's not on the list of Intel processors. Maybe this was something that came out of, uh, of Max uh, workstations or some other weird project. Well, it all seems pretty good so far, and I do expect to, to yeah, starting server 2019. So, uh, yeah, everything looks happy dandy or something. Well, that was quick. It is running on an SSD, so that's probably okay. Let's log in here. Cool. Let's see what it sees. Uh, task manager. Doing some little stuff. Performance. Yeah, we have the X5679, 3.2 gigahertz. Awesome. Running at 3 gigahertz down here. 0% usability. Let's run the test. Close that. Performance test. And it's gonna tell me that I haven't registered it and that is so true. Continue. It's gonna gather some information and I'm gonna run that test. 
what you do is you go up to test and there are CPU tests and then I just run all the CPU tests. Oh, it's done. It's quick. CPU all and it's do you want to, are you sure? Are you really sure? Yeah, I'm really sure. Run the bloody tests. Okay, so the results are in 12,562. That's not as good as 30,555. It's a uh, thousand points lower than the X5690s. So this CPU is definitely not faster. But let's just run Cinebench while we're at it. So should we expect something like 1500? Maybe. Almost 1500. 1496. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so we didn't find a magic CPU that was magically faster than what we already had. It was a bit slower. Uh, this is the X5679 and this is the X5690. This one beats this one, but this one costs twice as much as this one ish. This one is like, I paid about $45 for these and the X5690 is more like $90. So, well, double the price, a little bit less performance. So um, it's not a bad purchase and it saves you like 15 watts. Not sure that matters that much. Some other day we'll try it in the M2 and see if the M2 will actually handle it. Uh, the M2 is kind of rated for 95 watts maximum, but we could definitely try it out. Please remember to like this video and um, well, check out my shop if you uh, have a bit of time. Help me get uh, rid of some of my stuff here so that I can uh, get room for new stuff and afford it. This stuff isn't always cheap. And if you're in need of bigger hardware purchases, there is always bargain hardware where um, you um, at the checkout code will get 5% off if you check out with the code MYPLAYHOUSE small letters. And that is bargainhardware.co.uk. And yes, they do ship worldwide. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.